Hi, this is Michael from DNA and over the next few minutes you're going to learn about how you can add different types of attachments to your mind map. Now don't worry if you're using a different software package to what you're going to see on my screen. I'm using MindView on a Windows PC, but this video is about the strategy underpinning this process. And although I'll be making reference to specific functions in MindView, I'll be giving you hints about how you can find similar tools in other software packages as we go along. Now this video follows on nicely from the first video about planning an essay. Uh, those of you that have watched it will uh, see that I've expanded on my tea bag section here. So I've got all different types of tea in my map now. And I want to add some attachments. So here I'm thinking documents, research papers, things that I need to read to complete my essay here. So especially if your experience of something like dyslexia or dyspraxia is that you find it difficult to manage large amounts of research material, then this is going to be a really useful tool for you. We can do this by selecting the part of the map we want to add the attachment to. So I'm going to add an article which I found online, uh, which I've downloaded onto my computer about green tea and I'm going to choose the attachment button at the top of the screen. Now attachment is a very common label that's given to this function in other mind mapping packages. Basically you're looking for a tool that's going to allow you to embed documents into your mind map. So I'm going to click on attachment here and I'm going to browse on my computer to this article. I just put it on my desktop. There it is, a PDF file about green tea. And when I click on open I've got this little visual cue that I have an attachment now it's a little paper clip on the side of this branch and if I click on this it should automatically open this article about uh, green tea so that's one thing that you can do if you've got a website that you want to attach to your mind map we can do a similar process and I'm actually going to add a hyperlink to the same branch and we've also got a hyperlink button at the top of the screen. Again, you'll find this control in most other mind mapping packages. And if I click on that, I can paste a web address into this box here. So I'm going to just jump into Google Chrome where I've got my article about green tea and I'm going to copy this uh, website here. So if I select this address at the top of the bar here and right click and then choose copy, I can then go back into my mind map select the URL box here, right click and just paste it directly into that box. Now I can give it a name which is going to help me to remember this link. So I'm going to call this website about green tea and save that. Now what you'll find is when you hover over the little paper clip you should see that there is an additional attachment there. So that's the great thing about attachments in this piece of software you get a list of different items all in the same branch. So if there's three articles you need to read, you can nest them all inside that one branch. And if I click on a website about green tea, then our article just pops up in the default browser. So attachments and hyperlinks are really useful things to add into your mind map. And there's one final type of attachment that I'm going to discuss, uh, but I'm going to talk about that in the next video because this is very relevant to creating an entire essay in this piece of software. That's right, you heard me correctly, you can actually write your entire essay within a mind map. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called Text Notes. Now these text notes are tools which you'll find in any mind mapping package. It's a pretty fundamental tool. So to find out more about how you can use these text note attachments, have a look at the next video in the playlist, which is about writing an essay in a mind mapping package.